Welcome everybody to an exciting episode for me on Today I Work On. Before anything, if you like the, my episodes, please like them. If you like my channel and everything that I show you and everything I work on, please subscribe. That's my one kid. That's my second kid. They're going to probably be in this video today because I am on daddy daycare. But basically, I bought a brand new 2021 3500 Mercedes Sprinter cargo van. It's the 170 inch wheelbase and it comes with the turbo diesel four cylinder that I think puts out around 160 horsepower and around 250 foot pounds of torque. Kind of light. Now this van tows 7,500 pounds. So I'm going to use it and take it to a track event. So what do I need to take it to a track event? I need a trailer hitch. So today's episode is working on this trailer hitch and I'm going to start getting into it right away. All right, so let's get on, let's get the important matters at hand, the stats. So this is a 5,000 5, pound gross trailer weight with a 500 pound tongue weight. Weight distribution hitch, which I'm gonna use, makes this a 7,500 pound trailer hitch, which is the maximum capacity for this cargo van, which is perfect and increases my tongue weight to 750 pounds. And it's from eTrailer.com pretty common pretty popular it looks pretty good i mean it came a little banged up nothing crazy um inside the trailer hitch it's a little bit of funky can you see that i'm gonna have to clean that out but now the next step is putting it and test fitting it underneath the van so i know it goes i haven't really looked at the directions but i know it goes somewhere and it attaches to these bolts on each side so that's the, that's the next step. And it also came with these bolts. So maybe these, it came with these bolts. I might have to read the directions on what I do with these. So let me start working on that. You get in the directions, it's pretty specific. What? So it shows you exactly what you need to do, what you need to pull out, and then your installation steps. So this is gonna be the visual. And install time, it says it's 30 minutes, which I probably believe. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get, I need some, I need some ratchets and I need some 18 millimeter sockets. So let me start working on that. And by the way, this is the uh, bumper hitch since I have the step bumper right here. So it sticks out a little bit. Um, and this is the part number, 13358. So let me uh, start pulling out these bolts. All right, so you have three existing bolts, right? One, let me zoom this in a little bit. You have, take that off. One, two, three. Now you're gonna, you're gonna reuse these bolts. You see this top bolt? That's where this comes into play. This is gonna shoot through the opposite way. And then you put part of directions. This goes on this side like so, up on, oh, you can't see it, up on top. I'll get a better video in a minute, but let me undo, let me undo these bolts. First side is out, now I'm on the uh, driver's side. It's the same situation, three bolts. It's actually a really straightforward install. The hardest trick on this install is putting an actual hitch. And I think I have a trick for that. Installation almost complete. I actually just wedged the trailer hitch up and then what I did was I just, I put the bolts, well, this is what I did. I just backed the bolts out like this and I just put it like right in line with this frame over here. And then I just got underneath the trailer hitch and then I just lifted it up and it kind of squeezed 
right here and it held the hitch in place and then I just put the new bolt through this way from this side out and then I just let it hold and it worked out well so now I'm going to tighten all this up and this was a really super easy install so let me uh, and then oh this little block right here if you can see it that goes on yeah it goes right there so I guess it, it beefens up the uh it beefens up the um I guess the weight I don't know but that's how it's supposed to go so everyone that knows me knows I am not a big ooga, an ooga ooga guy, aka two oogas, four oogas, ten oogas, it feels good. I am a torque setting guy, trust but verify. So on this, on the directions, it says 79 foot, foot, uh, foot pounds. So we're going to bring that up to 79. I know it's kind of silly that just like random bolts on a trailer, but you know what? You don't want to mess around with trailering anything. So I am going to properly torque these bad boys down. Let's see where I'm at because I, I tightened them down pretty good before I uh before I got the torque wrench out, but let's see what we got. Oh, we got plenty to go. Okay. Oh, I have a lot to go. Look at that. See, that's why. Oops. Huh. There you go. Wow. That is really. That's a struggle. Interesting. I really am putting some force onto this bolt. I was way under torque. So let me tell you, if you, uh, if you're doing this, you want to make sure that you get this torque wrench out because again, I was way, I, this is mind blowing how, how off I was. Look at that. Okay. Let's check out the top one. So, oh, the one other thing is the, uh, the bolt. I don't know if you can see it there that comes with the kit. It's actually a 19 millimeter. So make sure you get an 18 and a 19 millimeter out on this. So you don't have any issues. So I'm going to, I'm going to torque the rest of these up and then I'll recap the trailer hitch. Well, there you have it. The hitch is done. I installed the the seven pin connector. Now what I did was I put it sideways because I didn't want, if I put it vertically and I lifted it up like this, it was gonna hit the bumper and I didn't want to cut the bumper. So I figured, let me put it to the side. It works perfectly. I didn't want it too low. I didn't, and I didn't want to drill on the actual hitch because I feel like that might've been a uh, issue down the road with rust. You don't want to do that. So, but that's, that's it. It's done, it looks great. And I am super excited to start towing with it. So thanks for watching. I hope you learned how to install this hitch super easy and I'll catch you next time.